Hey everyone, it's me, Dr. Dylan Peckis here with Optimal Circadian Health and with one of my favorite folks here. This is Mike, although this name says Michael, but we can all just call him Mike. And he is such a awesome story in terms of his transformation, what all he's gone through, all the cheese he can now eat. Well, we're still, you know, making sure with cheese and that cheese, but really more importantly, being able to go from a space of just like going in 10,000 different directions. And I'll let Mike tell the story in terms of where he was at before he booked his initial breakthrough call. And we'll get into a little bit of history there. Not a whole lot, because we'll, we'll sprinkle that in as we go along. But I just want to welcome Mike here. Thanks for joining us and being able to share your story of where I'm not sure how many people there are out there like you, probably, I mean, thousands of suffering of the, the same issues and being able to show them, hey, there's someone just like you and this is where they are now. So Mike, tell us you know, about in terms of the, the biggest problems you were having before you, know, you, you saw us, maybe watched the masterclass, did the call. What were the biggest struggles you were having? Oh, I had numerous struggles. In fact, it was a, kind of a nightmarish scenario because I, I pretty much, uh, before I met you guys, I've been through numerous people, numerous doctors and so forth, uh, and really got no results. Basically, what was going on was I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's thyroiditis about four years ago. And uh, after that became a big challenge in my life. So what was going on was I was experiencing um, not only a lot of the symptoms of uh, Hashimoto's, um, which would include, uh, you know, problems with hormones and weight loss and weight gain, all that stuff. But also I was getting these, what they call flare ups and, and they would uh, often send me to the emergency room because they were so extreme. And I ended up uh, with, uh, you know, where my blood pressure would go erratically high and uh, my, I was getting ectopics and palpitations and all those things. And, uh, you know, it would happen like uh, just, you know, in a period of, you know, it would last for sometimes as long as a month. And, um, and the problem was that, well, I'll explain some of the symptoms that I went through. I was experiencing like uh, lower back pain, uh, muscle aches. Um, a uh, lot of confusion, a lot of fogginess, uh, brain fog as a lot of people call it. Um, I was uh, also losing weight. In fact, that was one of the biggest concerns. I lost weight. I went from about 160 and I went down to as low as 119 as a result of that. And also various programs that I've been through beforehand that kept uh, causing the weight loss, not, I wanted to gain back my weight because 119 was way too light for me and uh, way too light. So what I did, uh, also I was experiencing things like eye pain and hair loss, all the things that come along with Hashimoto's. Uh, but I was also not getting all the things with Hashimoto's. I was also experiencing symptoms of of um, hyperthyroidism as well. So I, and with the problem, the thing that was so annoying that I experienced was I was going to multiple doctors. Nobody really knew. I went to the VA doctors, uh, the medical doctors, like three, uh, three different ones. And everybody, every time I'd go into the ER, usually it was as a result of my blood pressure going extremely high and, uh, or waking up in the middle of the night with terrible palpitations you know, where I was like, uh, it was ridiculous where I'd get, you know, pulse over 120 and stuff like that while I'm sleeping, you know, so I, at some point I got to be so afraid of even going to sleep, uh, because I, I, I expected, uh, at a certain point that, okay, I don't know if tonight I'm going to wake up with palpitations or whatever, or end up in the ER. I ended up in the ER over 15 times. Uh, and the most, uh, the most disheartening thing was when at the end of all the testing and everything like that, they'd come back to me and they'd say, you're fine. I'm like, fine? How do you get fine? I'm, I'm here. And it's like, you know, I don't come here because of, I want to be, you know, entertained by you people. I come here because I want to get help. So long story short, I didn't get any uh, success uh, out of going to the ER 
And the only thing that happened was usually afterwards, I'd feel a little bit better because by then the flare up had dissipated or lessened, but I was still experiencing symptoms afterwards, no matter what. So anyway, um, and I also had a lot of gut issues, a whole bunch of things that went on. Uh, it was just bad. And so I couldn't have, I didn't really have a life at that point. My life consisted of worrying about day to day, what was going to happen or might happen or might not happen. So that was kind of what led me up to meet, you know, meeting Dylan and Molly. And um, there's a story to that, but I'll get that into a little while. But anyway, I just wanted to start with that <laughs> yeah. to let you know where I was at that time. And there's a lot more to that than that. It, this is just the tip of the iceberg. I was a mess and uh, life really, really was awful at that time. And I dreaded each day instead of, uh, you know, my anticipation of each day was fear every day, fear, fear of what might happen, what may, you know, transpire along the way. So um, anyway, that's a start. Yeah, just the, just a little bit there, because the, the one thing that I, well, there's many things I love about Mike, but in terms of his story and his progression, because a lot of times we're out there and people think like, oh, you're the adrenal fatigue, the sleep people. Yes, there's sleep mm -hmm. and those things, but Mike, okay, Hashimoto, gut issues, not just thyroid going low, swinging to high, all these other issues, and just being in a place of where it's, you are that person, especially at the VA, it's just like, oh, there's so many things going on with you, but we have nothing that we can do. And that's something that people resonate with so much, because as we'll talk about a, a little bit, just being able to be at a place of where, yes, you have all these issues, but being able to get to a co the core of it, and being able to be in a place of where it all unfolds and, and being able to address it like that. And that's like what's so powerful, not only about Mike's story of where God Hashimoto's, and it's not because Mike like did something wrong in a former life. It, it's because of these core issues and being able to, you know, really be in a space of where you can address that. But more importantly, being able to recognize it's a lot simpler, even, even when you're having those days of where they are awful. There is like nothing but fear and living in a space of where those days are a struggle. And if, and if you don't mind sharing um, about like two months ago or so, when you say one of those awful days, I know you mentioned the ER visits, which are never fun, but just for someone to get a picture of your day to day and what those tough moments were for you, because a lot of people live in that space would you be able to share what would that look like yeah. for you? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, basically my day-to-day -day consisted of not knowing what to do and not knowing how to, um, you know how people set out with, okay, I'm going to do this today. I'm going to do that today. I couldn't do that because there were so many things that were uh, variables regarding my health that I didn't know how to, I couldn't plan anything. I, in fact, I couldn't even plan a trip because, you know, longer than say 20 miles, because I was afraid, well, what if this happens? What if that happens? And I end up in the ER, I couldn't camp because I love camping. I couldn't, so I limited, basically my whole life was limited. I couldn't go to places, I couldn't do things. Um, my friendships, you know, kind of, I couldn't even get together with people for long, a long enough, you know, long periods of time because I, didn't, I was always afraid of what might happen or I might start fearing, you know, feeling palpitations or, uh, my blood pressure might go through the roof. And when that happens, I feel like I'm, my head's about ready to explode. And all these things that were unpredictable. So basically, each day I was living an unpredictable life, not knowing what to expect. And usually it wasn't, I wasn't like expecting good things. It was all, it, it kept getting worse and worse. So that's, that was, um, you know, so I basically couldn't make any plans. So that was my day to day um thing and so each day was just like okay i'm holding on i'm holding on and you know but the thing is i didn't have any answers that's what i was looking for i was looking for solutions to what i was going through and really i wasn't getting any solutions they would say oh take this drug or take that drug uh or take this pill or take that pill or, you know and i'll tell you more about that in a little bit i'm sure um but that's uh that's basically what was going on i was not getting uh, a solution, only a cover-up, only a, uh, they're covering the symptoms instead of dealing with the solution. 
And I, I, you know, medical doctors, I realize most of them are not equipped, they're not trained to handle the, to get to the root cause. They're handled, they make money by covering the symptoms, by glossing them over, by making them appear to be gone. And that's not just the, the thing I learned in this uh, journey, shall we say, is it's not just happening with the medical department, it's also in the nutritional department too. Um, because they also, many of the things, or all of the things, except for what Dylan and, uh, and Molly have shared, all of those things have just covered over or hid the symptoms, you know, lessened them to a degree where it appeared that, oh, I'm getting healed. No more triggers, you know, uh, going off. So I ended up getting, you know, thinking, uh, deceived, I should say, at some point that I was getting better when really the fact was it wasn't healing the engine, shall we say, you know, the inner part of me, it was only dealing with the, you know, the, the things that connect to the engine, connect, connecting to our body. And so I got, naturally, I got really frustrated and very uh, discouraged and disheartened along the way. And, you know, I remember breaking down crying at times in the shower, you know, as I, hmm, as I, as I remember wondering, you know, what is this all that's left to life? You know, because nobody was, nobody was given a solution. And so I went through this and uh, there's nothing that's more painful, um, you know, than, you know, you, you wanting an answer and, you know, and nobody's got it, you know? And so uh, anyway, that was um, pretty much how my day-to-day -day was. And uh, so, and uh, thankful. Thankfully, and thank God that changed, you know. So um, anyway, uh, yeah. It's a good one. yeah. And thanks for for sharing that. So you know, things things oh, do, do get really tough and dire. Where, where yes, we can get lost in my TPO antibodies or this, or I'm stuck in this diet. But at, at the end of the day, health is really something where so many people either overlook it or they don't even look at it in the face at all. But it's really how you're able to live your life either in a space of where you can go about things normally or be in a, uh, a space of absolute despair of not knowing what the next weekend's going to hold, what the next year, are there going to be, are there going to be years after another 10? Like it's just not knowing where is it going and being at a point of where after so many trips to so many doctors, you're, you're just almost ready to throw in the towel. And, and it's just mm -hmm. something that, I never want anyone to forget it. This is, yes, health is something, but it's really how you're able to live your life. And the great thing about Mike, I mean, having tried so many things, because obviously he's someone who is a fighter, someone who is going to keep going. He goes to the VA, he's going to come back 10 more times, well, less now. Um, but just because you know that you don't give up. And in terms of being able to go through the other you know, solutions or cover-ups, um, because this is another place of where a lot of people have gone through the same things, or maybe right now they're thinking about doing X, Y, or Z. Um, you know, what are some of those things you, you've tried, maybe got a little bit, but then back to square one, didn't work at all, or even made you worse? What were some of those, those things that you've tried out that did not go as planned? But there is a, a long list because like you said, I'm a fighter. <laughs> so I'm going to keep looking and looking and looking until I am like determined. I was determined to get an answer because I, I'm like that. That's how I am in my life. Uh, you know, my brother knows it. I know it. We're like, I don't know, just amazing fighters. We just have to, we're going to find the answer no matter what we have to do to get it. So, you know, so anyway, I persist, I, I remember when I first started getting diagnosed, well, when I got diagnosed with Hashimoto's and I was starting to go th through the uh, crazy symptoms I was going through, ending up in the hospital and so forth. Um, I started first, of course, with the medical doctors. And then I got to a point of reading up and researching. And then I found out they didn't really know uh, much of anything, uh, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, it's the ones that are doing the typical AMA standard, you know, protocols, but all they do is give you Synthroid. And that wasn't working. It kind of, it kind of <laughs> balanced things a little bit, but 
they only look at one part. They don't look at the whole system. And that's what I love about Dylan and Molly. They look at the whole system, you know, as opposed to many of the people that I've worked with who only are focused on like the thyroid. And the thyroid, I find that, you know, realized it's not the issue, it's the immune system, it's the engine is, is out of whack. And that needs to be taken care of uh, instead. But the, uh, I went through functional medicine doctors, I went through uh, chiropractors, I, oh gosh, so many, uh, um, I went through um, uh, medical means and all like that. I went through, uh, I'm trying to think of all of them. So I went through immuno immunology scientists, you know, I thought, wow, that would be great. And again, just covering the symptoms. I didn't realize that. I actually gave them a testimony too, uh, about three quarters of the way through, because my TPO levels, that's the antibody levels, had decreased significantly. And I was like all excited. So I, you know, I gave them a testimony. It was too soon a testimony though, because uh, those antibodies by the end of their program went up just where they were before. So it was it was absolute worthlessness. So I was like, oh my gosh, the only thing I learned is what not to do. <laughs> so, uh, and incidentally, uh, oh, so I've also been through a, a thyroid pharmacist, ARMPs, um, people doing uh, protocols, all different kinds of protocols. I've been through so many, it's ridiculous. In fact, I, I don't think there's any that I haven't been through at this point. And so uh, I could tell you one thing, I could tell you what doesn't work for sure, up to, the, you know, up to the point of Dylan and Molly. Oh, I know what doesn't work because, uh, and, and I don't think it works for anybody because none of them were addressing the root cause. Now, however, I will say that they all, or most of them said that they would address the root cause, but they really didn't. It was just a, it was just a, a sales tactic, shall we say, to get me or anyone else to buy into their program. So that was a very key thing. So I, uh, you know, I obviously through that, I, I lost a lot of money and, uh, you know, trying those things, but I was still determined. Mm -hmm. So I kept persisting. And uh, anyway, that's what led me up to Dylan. Mm -hmm. And so um, anyway, I'll, I'll stop there for a moment because- Well, I, 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 I want to continue on that vein because some of the more, uh, I know you have a super long list, I was looking at it before from your um, your form there in the beginning for the breakthrough call. What about you want to expand a little bit about, you know, keep it to less than three hours in terms of diets and supplements that you went through and again, did not pan out how you want it. Uh, that, that's amazing because I'll give you an idea of how determined I was. I even was doing a protocol where it was totally vegan. Now, mind you, I went, I was on meat <laughs> for a long time, a lot of it, going from that to complete vegan and having uh, juice smoothies that were 20 ounces a day of raw spinach, okay, plus other things. So, but, you know, it was crazy, you know, but I was, I was so wanting to get a solution. That gives you how much of a determination I had that I was willing to do that. I did that program and other programs exactly as per protocol and none of them worked you know they they always showed a, an appearance of working for a period of time but then it fell off and i've actually never seen anybody have complete success you know from those programs uh you know and of course a lot of times i didn't find out till after the fact but anyway that's uh did i answer <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just plug in. I, there was a, I think Mike sets the record for a person consuming the most flaxseed or whatever that was at one time. Because oh, yeah. right? a lot of times you get caught up in that paradigm of it's the root cause, but it, it's just another superficial thing that someone thought, you know, oh, this looks really great on paper. I think, you know, this is really going to modulate your, but it doesn't really allow you to actually make those changes and you're chasing things and Yes, it may work for some people because even a broken clock is right twice a day. Um, but it's something of where if you're not really going to the core of the issues that we'll dive into a, a little bit, but uh, it's just you're, you're chasing things almost as much as you're chasing your symptoms. You're just really not getting anywhere. And, and that's what I mean, not only for me being very frustrated where I hear people like, oh, I've, I've done an X, Y or Z and it hasn't worked. And 
people go say, I'm going to go try other people say, I'm going to go try X, Y, or Z. Cause that seems, oh, that seems like that makes sense. But it, it's just like, you see people go down the, the same road all the time. So, but the, the other thing, I mean, cause a lot of people have failed things, get highly skeptical and then go into a state where they don't take any action. The, the way, yes, there's going to be failures along the way, but eventually, you know, you have eight failures, but when the ninth thing you do is a success or maybe 90th for Mike here, um, that is when ultimately those were all lessons in a way. Um, and so in, in terms of now being able to, you, okay, you've gone through that and then you were, I mean, you must've been on some social media platform, Facebook, Instagram, you saw this ad with some, I'm, I'm not sure what we have there. Maybe it was a picture of a cat at the time, but either way, um, you signed up for the master class. you watched the presentation and even like booked the breakthrough call. What was running through your mind at that time of like, what, what is going on here? Who are these people? Why are they saying we don't need to focus in on stuff? What was like running through your mind at that time? Well, I will tell you, the way I found out about you was through a very good friend of mine. And um, she suggested that I look at some of your uh, material because she knew what I was going through. So I did. I actually went on and saw your original uh, master class. But afterwards, I was like, you know, I was, I was like, at that point, I was like so close to giving up. And I was super skeptical. And I was really not... Um, I was like, ah, you know, so, uh, and, well, anyway, she encouraged me to go for the one-on-one -on -one interview and, you know, listen to that. And, uh, well, in the meantime, I had watched a couple of videos, but really not much. And then I listened to the one-on-one -on -one, and then I was like, hmm, okay. And there were things I heard also that you had mentioned that I said, well, this is really a different approach than what I'm used to. I mean, significantly different. It felt like when you were mentioned, the, th the key thing that got me to you was that you mentioned about um, getting the engine, getting the, you know, dealing with the immune system, dealing with the things that, that, but it didn't sound like you were doing it in the same manner that someone else was doing. It sounded like there was something unique and special about it. And I was like, okay, you know what? But I will tell you that you were my last stop. I was going to not, if, if, it didn't, if this didn't work, I was done. I'm just going to learn to live with the condition I had, try to make the best of it and stuff like that. So I was not, uh, I was done. That was it. It was going to be it. So, you know, um, so that's where I was at the time. And so when, then when I listened to the message, uh, I was like, wow, okay, maybe, you know, I, I, it kind of started bringing my hope back again. Like, okay, maybe, maybe now it's my solution. Maybe all this stuff I've gone through was all leading me up to, you know, into developing persistence, because I sure did and uh, <laughs> during that time, and leading me up to the program, this program. And so that's, that's how I came about to know you. I really didn't if it wasn't for my friend, I may have never run across you. I don't know, you know, but I'm, I'm so grateful to this day and you will be forever grateful for that. So I just want to share that. <laughs> awesome. Excellent. Good friend. Good friend, whoever she may be. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, it's, always, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> it, it's always awesome how people find us either way, being able to have that initial breakthrough session where, you know, we talk about, okay, how can we help? What's going on here? And being able to lay those options out for you and then being able to have you with us working on these core issues. One of them being the, we have our new mitochondria picture. Don't worry, we're gonna work on the glare later with the, uh, the glass there, but we'll work it out. That's why we're specialists on fatigue and mitochondria and not on uh, ref refractor and refractory indexes. But anyway, the more important thing, so, you being someone who you've gone through the gambit, you've gone to the VA more than once, less than a thousand times, somewhere in there. And now you're in the program, you've had your welcome call, you're in the modules, you're like in a new world, not so much the specifics of what all you were doing because it's even longer list of details, but in terms of like in your mind when the gears were turning, you were like, okay, this is a little bit, this is, a lot of it different and what was that uh, that shift for you for the from skeptic to now being like all right okay i think this is 
this are we i think we're on to something here what was that like for you it was um i remember it too you know really i remember it about the first week you know when i was starting and i was like you know first first thing i'll note is that i was uh I was like, I can do this, you know, I mean, considering some of the other things I went through, this was a, a piece of cake compared to what I went through. And I was like, and I was also enjoying it. I was like, wow, this is, this is fun. You know, this is cool. And what kind of got me on realizing the things that you were sharing um, were on track was because of previous things that I've learned before. Um, and also in my past, you know, in, in my early years and stuff, things I've gradually understood and so I started to tie two and two together and I'm like okay yeah he, he I see where he's going with this I see what he's doing okay and I didn't understand all the details and I also didn't understand how much of an impact of the things that you know and have shared uh, would make a difference in my health and I'm sure other people's health because it is significant the things that you shared because you can have <laughs> like I said like I realized you can be eating all the right things, doing everything right. And if they don't have the things that you know and are doing those, their health can still be a disaster, you know? And when I saw that, I'm like, okay, you are really truly hitting at the root cause, you know? And you are, and, and the body is going to make changes appropriately as a result of it in the right way. Not, not just covering things, not just, you know, hiding symptoms, oh, you don't have this anymore, you don't have that anymore, you know, but, and then, you know, two weeks later, they're back, you know, it's not like that. I realized that you were offering a permanent solution, not just a temporary solution. That actually occurred to me over time, because initially, obviously, I was still dealing with, you know, fears and skepticisms and all like that. Of course, in the first week, not everything changed overnight. You know, I, I realized that it was going to take time, which is good. And, uh, you know, so that's, you know, and that's okay. I was going to be patient. I was going to let it, you know, work out because again, this was my last stop. So what I, what have I got to take time, you know, and give it time, you know, hey, might as well. But what I was so happy about was I was noticing changes, significant changes. And I was like, you know, and in each week they were just, you know, better and better. And I was like, wow. And I've took some steps back too, because my body's adjusting, you know, making all these, you know, I knew it was going through some changes, I could tell. <laughs> and, uh, but at the same time, I was excited about it. And it motivated me even more to, uh, to persist, to go on to the next step and to continue listening uh, to the things that you were bringing out. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. And in terms of when you were going through that, not only the information, having support with you, and in terms of those, I mean, especially in the context of going through this for years, what were those immediate amazing results that you were having that you were like, oh, hey, things are going to be different. Things are going to be better. What were those for you? Well, I, I will say, as strange as it may sound, it's nice to not get up four times a night to have to go to the bathroom. Okay, because that's what was happening. It was constant and it was disrupting my sleep all the time. Something was off. I, and I, I had tests. Oh, my gosh. So many tests done on uh, your analysis to try to find out. Nobody came up with anything. So I was like, oh, my gosh, so I got to keep getting up four times a night. So the first thing I noticed was that I was going and waking up less at night. Uh, to go to the bathroom. And, and eventually it became only one time night, which still is that, you know, if even that, sometimes I've gone through the whole night without even waking up. And I'm like, oh, it's so nice to be able to get a full night's sleep or, or even a partial night's sleep more than what I used to get because getting up every couple hours is, is crazy. It's, it's, it's rough. Um, there was that. And then I noticed also that the, um, uh, oh, there's a, there was a lot of things that went on, um, but mainly, I think that was the initial one. Uh, there was also, well, there was a big one, which wasn't the initial week that happened, but it was my weight, um, which uh, I don't know if you want me to share that yet. Or, or I don't know what. Where you hey, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, one of the big things that I was so afraid of when I first started this program, I did not want to lose more weight. Again, I went from 160 down to 119. And the past people that I worked with in a program said, oh, we're going to make sure your weight, you know, will, it'll get up, you know, well, it went from 129 when I first met them to 119. So it, did, it was going the opposite. But with Dylan, with working with Dylan, the thing I'm I'm so overjoyed about. I know some people say, oh, I'd love to lose weight. Well, my issue with losing weight is about, it's exactly the same as if you're struggling for years to lose weight, that's my struggle to gain weight because I wanted to gain weight and I couldn't, I just couldn't. It was, so the beauty is now it's about, I guess, 10 to, 10 to 12 weeks after the start of the program, I've gained back, I'm now up to the average of about 132. So I gained, what is that, 11, uh, a little over 11 pounds or so um, since the program. And all I did was make shifts that Dylan had recommended. And I can't tell you how much, uh, how happy I am about that because I'm not disappearing anymore and I didn't want to. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, and I know there's other, I'm trying to think of the, uh, I'm trying to think back. There was one other thing that uh, really I was, uh, that was, uh, I guess I'm trying to think of the main one that um, energy levels that was what's that energy levels <laughs> yes 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 thank you yeah see I'm so used to having a great energy right now <laughs> thank you very much that I completely I'm used to it now it's it's a part of my life now my energy was horrible um the uh I mean I give you an idea uh, when I cut a salad or cut just chop it up I my arms felt drained I felt tired after just cutting the salad up okay that's one of the main things that I saw initially in the, in the first week I, I remember saying see, noticing that when I was chopping salad I said, I'm not tired right now I, I feel I feel energized I feel good well that has progressed like crazy that's why I'm, I can't it's almost hard to even remember back then to where I was to now it's, it's you know it's just such a dramatic change that I've had and my energy levels now are amazing uh, you know I, I I actually during this time of the program I actually uh, was able to build a trail I have a nature trail on my property and I ended up taking out easily about 80 uh, anywhere from 70 to 80 trash barrel fulls of yard trash during that time I would have never been able to do that before. So, and, and that's, believe me, that's a lot. Even the garbage guys got upset. <laughs> so, uh, but I, that's all right. You know, that, that was a good thing. So, um, but anyway, my energy levels now are significant. And what I noticed was sustained energy, not just immediate quick energy. It was sustained, long lasting, even so much that after I did all that work during the day, at night, I was like, man, I still feel really, really good. It was a balanced energy. It was a clean energy. It wasn't like this, you know, up and down and, oh, I have it for a moment and got to utilize it while I can get it type of energy because, you know, in another 10 minutes, it's going to be gone. You know, it was just sustained and I loved it and I love it now and it continues with me and I know it's going to continue. So I'm, and I'm 50, almost 59 now and I really feel like 29. You know, my energy levels maybe even better than 29. My energy levels are significant. My clarity of thinking is so much better. Uh, I don't have the fogginess or any of those things like I used to have. And and um, anyway, those are those are just uh, just the tip of the iceberg. And then, what about gut eating more foods, being less restrictive? How did that shift for you? <laughs> That's the funnest part of all. I mean, I. I you know, I used to, I used to be so afraid of eating food. I mean, I didn't know what, if I ate an apple or what it had some beets or something, what it was going to do to me. Sometimes I, I remember one time I had just, no joke, a teaspoon of beet juice and my heart went into palpitations and went up over almost 130 beats a minute. Just like that, within about a minute, it was crazy. And I was reading it on the monitor. I'm like, what the heck? You know, because I didn't think beets would do it. You know, that's just a sample. It wasn't just beets, it was other things too. So I never knew what I could eat. 
I didn't know what was going to affect my gut. All these things, everything was out of whack with me on that, you know. So, so, um, and there's nothing worse than, you know, <laughs> what am I going to eat today, or what can I eat today, or if I drink a glass of water even so much as it would affect me at times. It would sometimes throw my BP out. It was weird, I, and I never got answers to what those were. So what is the joy now is I look forward to eating and my friends will tell you, I look really forward to eating now. I don't have to, you know, I don't have to be paranoid like I was before. And I enjoy, I enjoy eating. And believe me, I eat a pretty good amount of food. Um, for a little guy like me, I eat and I love to eat. And I always, that was a joy of mine for a long time and it still is now. So thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Excellent. And the, the thing I wanted to ask you about as well, because, um, you know, obviously I haven't gone through other people's programs, that'd be weird. But in terms of being able to go from a space of being in fear, not sure what to do, and then being with us in terms of being able to be supportive throughout that entire process, because we had some fun together. What was like, what was the best part of that for you? Well, I absolutely had a lot of fun. I love the support. <laughs> it was great and you know what I, I love about you guys is that you make people feel so relaxed you make people feel so um you know like you're not here and they're here you know it's like you're on the same level it's as if you're well not as if you're it's, you're a coach you're like you know you're side by side we're here to help you we're here to you know guide you along you're not there like uh, talking at people, you're, you're conversing with them. And that makes, uh, made me feel really comfortable and realize, hey, you know, this is a totally different approach. You're a real, real person. You're, you're not talking, even though you have, you know, degrees and all like that, you're not talking like you have degrees. You're talking just on, an, on the same level and like, hey, I've got those issues or I had those issues as well. Let me help you with them. Here, I'll be on your side. And you were. You're on the side the whole time. And and, uh, and it was with everybody. And it's like answered all the questions and all that stuff and offered an amazing you know, support program and educational program, not just one where it was just going to be like some of my past programs where they're sitting in the shelf on, in my closet, but where I can utilize those programs on a day-to-day -day basis, as long as I want. And one thing that really sets you guys apart was your modules, which are absolutely awesome. They are forever. You don't take them down like other people I've had where they, you know, they have a program, but then they, you can't go to them anymore. You know, uh, you know, all of a sudden it's like, okay, the program's over and you can't access those uh, those very important things that you need apparently, but I know they didn't at that time because they didn't work anyway. So, <laughs> but yours, you leave it open so I could always reference them back and go back to them because there's, there's a lot of information you give, which is amazing and it may not be applicable to that very moment, but over time, there may be a time where, okay, I'm gonna make a change here or change there. And you can go back to it and say, okay, that's what Dylan said, you know? So that's what I love. And the resources that you give are amazing, the PDFs and everything like that. And also the uh, question and answers that you have where we could go you know, two times a week to was so nice uh, because you allowed us, you were so uh, giving, shall we say, because you answered everybody's question and then some. And I know I had a lot of questions because you know I've been through a lot and a lot of past things that I've learned that were completely incorrect you know and you straightened them out and but you were there and you took time to answer the questions even so much as hey you know does that make sense you know you were it was a converse not a you know talk at so that that was a wonderful thing and you also had the the facebook group the private facebook group was amazing because uh, and I really enjoyed and actually honestly miss you know talking with you know and hearing other people that were in the group because we were all part of a, a, a goal together, a mission together to get our health back, to get it restored. And it was nice hearing other people going through the same thing I was going through or similar things so that I could relate to other people and so that they could relate to me. So we each helped each other and helped each other grow. And, and it, was a, it, was a, it was a community thing. So we, we weren't alone. I, I never felt alone uh, when I was uh, working with you. I felt 
uh, encouraged. I felt, I felt supported, even if I wasn't on the internet or if I wasn't talking to you. I felt, still felt that, that strength from, you know, hey, I have people I can go to. You know, so that was a big yeah, I mean, it's always fun to be supporting people like you with the, the Q and A's, the emails of where it's like back and forth a lot. I really love being able to, because so much of it is like, yes, you can have a plan, but it's like when you want to go sailing, you know, you can have a plan, but when a hurricane's, you got to kind of be able to adjust the sails easily there. So that's what we're always helping people with. And in terms of like, you know, really, you know, bigger picture here where you've gone from, I mean, trying things and literally like being on the phone, you booked that free breakthrough call and you're probably like at a point like, okay, well, we'll see what this is. If I do it, it's my last shot. And now being able to, you know, have the trash guys not looking forward to, you know, going around because you don't know how much you're going to clean out or, or being able to walk on that nature trail or go out kayaking and being able to yeah. know your health is, now more in your hands than the VA, nothing against them, but we'll just leave that discussion to the side for a long time. But you being able <laughs> to be in a space of where instead of despair and fear, now being able to have hope here of where 59, 60, 65, I mean, what is that like for you now to be able to make plans on the weekend, stick to them, be able to be there, be fully present? Like, what is that like for you now? It, uh, it's beyond words. It's over, uh, over, overjoy, you know, because it's now, you know, like uh, I remember halfway through, I went, uh, I was able to go on a kayak run again because I really didn't have the energy or the stamina or whatever to do it. And I was also getting tremendous pain as I was going through it. To be able to go and uh, enjoy a kayak run um, that I was like, wow, it's like I, like I never even had a problem, you know, it was just like, it was gone, you know, it's like, this is awesome, you know, and, and I had the energy to be able to kayak for, you know, four miles without, in standing water without a problem, and so it's offered a enormous amount of, of uh, new beginnings, or, you know, or beginnings that I had before that I could re reintroduce again now, I could travel now. I don't have a problem traveling. I don't even think now about what might happen or anything like that. But, so the fears have gone uh, bye bye, you know. So that's awesome. And, you know, I don't have to constantly uh, micromanage every little detail of my health, which that's what I was doing. I had to be ever so careful. I was, you know, monitoring my blood pressure every day. Actually, really, to be honest, I wasn't doing it every day. I was doing it every couple of hours sometimes um, and, uh, and my pulse and all like that and always focusing on me. And I don't like focusing always on me. <laughs> you know, I like to put my focus on other people and I really love to help other people. And because I put so much focus upon myself, I lost touch even with opening up and helping other people and being able to reach out to them because I was so concerned about me. And so now it's given me the opportunity to open up to others again and also to do so many of the things that I had previously put aside because of uh, the effects of Hashimoto's and immune system problems and what is it called, immune disorders or whatever. And now I can do so many more things and have done so many. I'm pushing myself. And sometimes I have to be careful because I sometimes push myself to that limit. <laughs> but I'd rather do that um, than to not have uh, than my limit being like in a box and uh, not being able to not being able to do anything. So now I can do so much things, and um, you know, it's all as a result of the things that you've taught. And so I'm. Uh, you know, so, so grateful for that. And I know there's so much more that I don't even know about that, you know, that I, you know, again, I didn't finish all the modules and I'm finishing them now, but that's great because there's more to learn. <laughs> so, so anyway, that's it. On that. Awesome. Excellent. Yeah. We're really grateful to be a part of this journey. The, the, like I, maybe even I probably, I think when I called you after you enrolled, I was like, hey, welcome home. This is like the, the last stop. I think I may have told you it's the last stop as well. I didn't even know, think of that. But uh, just being able to welcome people in and know, yes, you've had a long journey. You've gone through a lot, not only trying to fix this, but 
living in the space of not knowing if this is all there is, but being able to now be in a space of where, okay, this is getting better. Is this, are these positive changes sticking around? Is this, is this what's going on? And then being able to be in a space of where in two months, two and a half months, however long it's been, being able to have a completely different trajectory of like, all right, well, this winter, we're going to have these plans rolling around and being able to take advantage of life in front of you. So it's been really grateful to see you expand into that and also obviously eat more cheese because that's the main outcome we have for everyone. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But for, I mean, not everyone can always have that, you know, yeah. different people with different dietary sensitivities, but being able to have what that really yeah. represents is more freedom more freedom in your life from what you eat to what you can plan and how you can really be living. And that's what this is all about. And where it starts is being able to be at a point of where you're just like, Mike, you're going to keep going. You want to be able to have this life and move out of fear and into a place of where you're loving what you're doing, who you're doing with and having an awesome time at the same time. So if that's where you want to be, then where you need to start is with one of our free breakthrough sessions and Essentially, what we do is you get on there, you pick a time on the calendar, and you speak with someone from our team, 45, 60 minutes. We see really three big things, kind of what's going on with your health, what's worked, what hasn't worked for you, what your goals are, because it's just like a, a GPS trip. We got to know where you are and then where you want to go and then figure out those next best steps for you. And if we know you can be just like Mike, Mike, this Mike, not Michael Jordan, even better, but being able to be in that position where we know we can help, we will show you what that looks like with us. And if not, we will steer you to somewhere else because we only want to be able to see people who we know that we can get them to that next level and that their core issues are what we're experts in and can help you with and be able to have some fun along the way. So if that's what you guys want, then go to optimalcircadianhealth.com forward slash talk You'll go there, there'll be a calendar. You pick a time that works best for you. You fill out a form, we give you a call and the rest is pretty much history. And you could even be here on this video with, uh, with me as well. So, but that's not the main reason you should do it. The main reason you should do it is because you're, I mean, honestly, sick and tired of going through life like this and knowing that there's so much more available to you once you're able to have an expert help you navigate these these waters these murky waters of your health and that's what mike did and that's why mike's here but obviously it's not just because of us it's because mike showed up mike showed up big time he was asking the questions he was front row and center in the zoom room you were always the first person to be logged in there and going through the modules working things out and being able to have that plan putting it into action putting it into action finding those little areas where there's more improvements asking more and being able to be at a level of where you go from the survival mode to a place of where you now you can thrive and continue to see how you can build up from there. So it's been an absolute honor to be part of this journey with you, Mike. And I welcome everyone watching here to begin that journey here today. So you can go to optimalcircadianhealth.com forward slash talk, pick a time, fill out the form, and we'll give you a call there. So we'll close out for now. Thank you so much, Mike, for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure. And for now, we'll say goodbye and wish everyone a wonderful day after you book your call, of course. All right. Bye, everyone. Hey, everyone. This is Dr. Dylan Peckis here. Make sure you just subscribe and then click the button to book a call. If it's not there, just go to optimalchicanhealth.com forward slash talk. Thanks.